So basically, in 2015, uh, we set up uh, an organisation called the E Games, which is an international tournament where countries play against country, uh, but not for prize money, but for uh, medals. And during this time, we were approached by another a number of countries, uh, esports associations, saying we'd love to get involved. And it made me think, you know, why isn't there a British esports association? So I went to the British government to get authority to create the British Esports Association, because the British government has to give you authority to do that, um, which was given in January 2016. And then in June, uh, we announced the association and we went to the community and said, look, how can we shape this as the national body uh, of esports for the UK? And then in December, we went live uh, with our website and with our advisory board. Yeah, so we went to the community and we got a lot of suggestions and inputs and Dominic Sacco and myself kind of got down the shortlist. And at the moment, the British Esports has been set up as a not-for-profit organisation, um, but we are going for charitable status. And once we get charitable status, I think we'll be the only esports association in the world which will be a charity. The British Esports Association is set up to promote esports um, in terms of entertainment, participation, and all of the skills um, the crafts that go around putting a great esports event together, which is a global being gone live around the world, and it's really important that the UK plays its part uh, in the esports industry um, right now and in the future. Also, we are here to inspire younger people, people who want to get into the industry, whether that's as a player or as whether it's a craft, you know, around technical skills that are required, maybe you want to be a caster. Maybe you want to be a filmmaker, maybe you want to make the content, you know, whatever. All the other stuff that goes around it. These are high quality jobs of the future um, and they're, you know, that they should be rewarding, uh, inspirational and fun. Um, and finally, we want to, um, to help sort of improve the whole scene. So with, with promotion and inspiration comes constant improvement. And if we can get the scene in, in the UK uh, to improve, on its current position, then we're in a place, uh, we're in a much better place than where we are. You know, Creative Industries in the UK is the jewel in the UK's crown, and esports can play its role within that sector. And the sports industry is another jewel in the UK's crown, where we really do punch above our weight. If you look at the, the English Premier League, for example, Wimbledon Tennis, we've got some real big brands and big events that are global. Uh, there's absolutely no reason why um, Esports in the UK can't punch it that way. We, we have got the creativity, we've got the talent, we've got the energy, the desire, um, and we've got the skills. They just needs just a bit of help.